Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So it's the winter festival in Neverwinter and we can obtain a new companion. So in this video we want to test that out, see how effective it is. Does it work the way it says it does? But additionally there's something pretty important that I want to jump to right now. Your gifts and your starlight bags. Make sure when you have these starlight bags and starlight parcels that you do not open them just yet. There is a bug right now when I open this this bag it is not adding to the count of how many I have opened. You can see it like glitches it shows one and then goes back to zero. There is some internal bug with regards to the tracker of that. You only want to open these starlight parcels when you have 20 or more gifts opened. But additionally you don't want to open the bags unless you're actually getting count towards that because those bags also have their own internal count which contributes to your drop rates so wait do not open any parcels do not open any bags until you get further notice that that has been fixed you can do all your gift giving you want using these gifts but do not open the bags from them do not open the parcels from the Zen market either that you get either free through the vouchers or just by purchasing them. But let's move on to this new companion. The companion you're going to buy with those uh, lights of Simril. Those lights of Simril you're majoritively going to get just through gift giving. It's the easiest way to get an absolute ton of these lights of Simril. You'll be able to buy the companion, you'll be able to sell it. And same with the older companions, these mounts as well. They're all unbound, you can resell them. You can also just buy it from the auction house if you can't be bothered at this event, but you still want the reward. So let's check out this companion. Is it any good? So we have it here on Mythic. Let's check out its damage. It says it has a power called Headbutt. Powerful cleaving melee strike that damages foes directly in front of the attacker. Other than that, it has a bellow which should reduce enemies damage. It will be 10% for nearby minions, standards and elite enemies. And when they're solo and mini bosses, the enemy's damage should just be reduced by 3%. I guess that's to balance it to make it not overpowered. And otherwise it should just have show no fear giving you and it 10% of your max hit points as a shield. Let's have a quick look at that. So summon in here. Let's give him all as good as he can get in terms of damage. So his combat advantage and everything. So that's a roar right there. And he puts the debuff on the target, which is intimidating Bellow. And you can see it lasts 30 seconds and it's reduced by 10 or 3%. However, that is just what it says. I done some testing and it appears to have zero impact on the enemy's damage. No change whatsoever. We tested against this guy and we tested against the smaller dummies. You can see this is the average damage when we are using the companion. Medium hit count 3149. But then we switch to without the companion and we see the exact same median number, 3,149. You might think it might have something to do with the uptime, but the uptime is actually pretty high, nearly 100%. This guy goes, does his bellow, 30 second duration on that. And by the time this is going to expire, he does again the roar and it will refresh. He also puts the shield on dudes. So you can see I have the shield on me and shield on him. He does take a while though to actually apply the shield after entering combat. Sometimes he bugs and then just doesn't apply it at all. There we go, he finally applied the shield and it lasts like 15 seconds and we'll see. For some reason he runs to that conjured fighter to like trigger his shield, I don't know why. But he should be able to refresh it pretty soon after it expires. No, he's just super inconsistent. I would not use him for the shield and again he's only putting the shield on you as a summoner. They need to fix a bunch of bugs with him. As for his damage you may have seen it's pretty poor. This is the kind of numbers we're seeing. 4688. Miserably low. So in terms of his rank he's uh, nearly ranked 200 <laughs> like the bottom of my list. He is multi-target though but uh that that isn't gonna do anything for him i'm afraid guys 
He is very much currently a broken companion that just doesn't work the way it should. His damage is terrible, like horrendously low. I don't even see why he has any damage if that's the case. And uh, it just, yeah, his intimidating bellow, if that's not working, then he's kind of useless. If they do fix it, he's pretty good in maintaining this bonus since it lasts 30 seconds and he has says it has a 10 second cooldown but his cast time's five seconds so there's like sometimes some time where he doesn't have it up but generally he would and then 10 percent debuff on ads would be great just they need to fix it and the shield is just a side benefit which stacks with other shields so you don't have to worry about it replacing as we would have had before so literally the only reason to get this companion is for its bonus of reinvigorate you see that when inspecting it the enhancement healers can use it to boost their outgoing healing and i recommend it as a newer healer the defense power some tanks can use it for some weird incoming healing build but that's ultimately it again the warning do not open your starlight parcels or your bags save them until there's a fix implemented because you're just wasting them you're not gaining the count and thus the loot table is a lot lower once again a massive thank you to all of these channel members for their added support we'll see you guys around goodbye for now